A word of advice for the next queen. Remember, no matter how many countries you rule, or palaces you own, power is always fleeting. Fight for yourself, your country, your throne. Be unassailable. I will let no one, not Elizabeth, not any usurper, take my country from me. You are nobody's first choice. And yet here you are. What are you doing to dull your ache for power? Do you really miss sitting on my throne that much? Since I was a babe, I have been a queen. Since a child, I have been alone on foreign soil. I have lived my entire life as a Catholic queen. I will not allow Knox to bully me into being something I am not. I have sold my soul and my child to protect myself and my nation. I was Scotland, but you are actually its queen. Mary may be Scotland's queen, but I am its king. When I return to Scotland, to our home, it will either be because you have failed or because you are dead. I know how to keep my life, my crown, and I will. You have many Protestants against you, that zealot John Knox, not to mention the Highland tribes with disregard for any monarchy. If you decline Rome's advice, you will lose its gold, its armies, and I will be powerless to take back Scotland from the Protestants. You know that as a queen, you have to put on an act. You can't always show what's in your heart. Appearances matter for people like us. Condé and I can appear to have no friendship that is more than political. To name a successor is to place a target on oneself. I am just as strong and as stubborn as Elizabeth. I will not live in fear of her. You're sending delegates to Rome to call Mary Queen of Scots a home. Catherine wants to destroy me, and if she can't, she'll help Elizabeth destroy my nation. She'll be disgraced, forced by her own countrymen off her throne, and no longer capable of reaching for yours. That doesn't make it right. Who cares about right or wrong if you're dead? I don't understand how you can justify it. In your heart, in your soul, these terrible shortcuts. Ruling requires that your hands be drenched in blood. I am a queen and a fighter and a woman who will stop at nothing to save Scotland. You, who have led so many to their destruction, know it. I wanted the world for you. I wanted France and England to fall at your feet. If Mary couldn't even keep the job of queen in her own nation, how could she be a good candidate for yours? It isn't just her legitimacy that makes her a better choice. It's the fact that she's wed. Every monarchy needs a clear heir to the throne, so power can be passed down without bloodshed or the fear of it, the fear you feel every day. And so long as I live, I shall be Queen of England. Royals have such a strange sense of family, don't you think? <laughs>